Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you open up your wardrobe and you see lots of pieces that you're either not loving or you're not getting enough wear from, then I've got some ideas and solutions for you to fall back in love with your clothes. As you can kind of tell from the background, I recently moved and storage space is very, very, very precious. So if there's anything hanging up in my wardrobe, taking up space, I wanna make sure I get lots of wear from it and it goes through rotation and I don't just reach for this very small section of my wardrobe. So today's video is really about how do we fall back in love and get more wear from the pieces that we may have pushed to the side or the back of our wardrobe. If we can take these clothes and wear them creatively, then we can create so many more interesting looks with the clothes we already have. Whenever I'm in a rut and I don't love my clothes, I don't love my style, these are the three tips that I find really helpful. I've got three tips and then a bonus one right at the end. The first reason why sometimes I don't love my clothes is because I associate an item of clothing with how I've worn it in the past. And sometimes in the past, I didn't wear the item in the way that I felt suited my style. So from there, after a while, I'll jump to the conclusion that this piece might not be right for my style or for my shape. I have a quick and easy solution and I'm gonna talk about this navy blouse as an example. My solution for this is to disassociate this piece from how you've worn it in the past. And then starting with a clean slate, we can go out searching for inspiration. What I always find that this step is that I'll find tons of outfits I love featuring a piece that's similar to what I have. And it really goes to show that maybe it's not the clothing itself that is not my style or that I don't love. It's more about how I perceive this piece. For this top, instead of styling it with the black, I've gone for lighter colors. All of the photos I really love with this piece were styling it in slightly more summery, lighter outfits. So I try to recreate that myself in these looks. Instead of wearing this with black pants and black jeans that I've just been wearing with a lot of my clothes, I just went for a lighter wash of blue. I played around the neckline a little bit, so opening it up, layering some necklaces. I also tried doing up all the buttons and then tying a knot and playing around with ways to make it feel a little bit more airy and honestly just a little bit more interesting. I played around with sandals and I brought in some color and trying to find ways to brighten it up, make it feel light and airy for spring summer. Playing around with my inspo, I also tried this on with white jeans and that goes well with the lighter color palette, the more airiness that I was trying to achieve. I would also love this blouse so much more if instead of wearing it with something like black jeans, I wore it with just a simple light blue skirt. I wear this skirt all the time and pairing these two together feels like the original inspo I was drawn to when I purchased the item. This is a stunning blouse and I've just not been doing it justice when I've worn it with black and darker colors. If you love having a little play around with your clothing, if you love to create lots of outfits with what you already have, Something I recommend is creating a Pinterest board for some of your key pieces. With my denim chambray shirt, this is a piece I wanna get tons of wear from. So I've tried to create a little Pinterest board and then pin a bunch of outfits that I want to wear with this piece. If you have an item of clothing that you want more wear from or you're just getting stuck of how to style it in new ways, create a board for it and then pin tons of outfits styling similar pieces. And you can always refer back to that when you're putting together an outfit in the morning. It's a really easy way to fall back in love with your clothes because you're constantly inspired by one photo or another. Another example worth talking about is this really chunky Cezanne knit that I gave to my mom for a year. This is exactly the kind of piece I'm talking about in this example. I wore it with really casual clothes for a while and then I just stopped feeling like it was super chic. So I passed it along to my mom. She gave it back to me recently because she wasn't wearing it as much as before. And I've completely kind of fallen back in love with this piece. It's really all about the styling because I tried this jacket on with some of my more dressy outfits and it felt like the perfect match. When I was wearing with really casual pieces, it did feel sloppy. Whereas if I pair it with something like a beautiful silk dress or maybe just like a little cami and more fitted skirt, it becomes a perfect jacket to create some contrast. I'm all about pairing more dressy pieces with more casual pieces and having that mix. 
And I think this jacket is really ideal for when the base layer is more dressy. Styling is absolutely everything and we can all get tunnel vision when it comes to how we wear things. And I feel like starting with a clean slate looking for inspo is definitely the thing that helps me the most when I'm just stuck on an item. For my own personal style, I really love mixing uh, slightly more elegant pieces like a little tank top or a silk dress with pieces that are more kind of cozy. I don't know if this is the right word to use, but things that give like the chic grandma aesthetic, I love that. And I think this cardigan definitely falls into it in the best way possible. And when you mix the two styles, I think you get something that's really interesting to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to go give it a like down below. It really, really helps me out. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see my weekly videos, I would love for you to go subscribe down below and also hit notification to see when I post. When I'm not loving my clothes, another reason is because I've limited the versatility of my pieces. As much as I like just wearing a shirt tucked into a skirt or a trouser, I much prefer shirts worn in different ways. The best way to show this is that I love to wear a shirt over a swimsuit whenever I'm at the beach or at the pool. And I also love wearing it over my gym clothes when I'm just walking across the street to the gym. I'm sorry for showing this clip, it's really not the most attractive look, but it is a practical one. And when I can get more wear out of my clothing, it just makes me love the piece so much more because I feel like it's really got that versatility. The way that I wear a shirt the most is always as a light jacket over some summery pieces. Otherwise, I'll do a little knot at the front, basically taking a very oversized shape and then cinching it in a little bit more. Having that versatility just makes me so happy because I feel like I'm really getting the wear out of my clothing and it makes me love my clothes more. I would say the same exact thing about a summer dress. I do find it a little bit depressing if I could only wear this in the summer because there's only a handful of times, you know, where everything would align and I would reach for this. My favorite way to wear this piece is definitely with some combat boots, with a sweatshirt and being able to make it work for the transitional season. I live in Australia, it's not that cold. So even the winter, I feel like it could work on a slightly sunnier, warmer day. If I only wore this for the summer, every time I open my wardrobe, I would be a little bit annoyed that it's not as versatile as I want it to be. I would be a bit annoyed that I spent so much money on something that I'm only wearing on such a limited occasion and it would bum me out. But being able to wear it more, just makes me feel more happy about the piece. It makes me love it more. And this is something you can definitely try. Not only do you get more wear from it, but you're also happier with the purchase, happier with the item sitting in our wardrobe. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Do you like your clothing more when you get more wear from it? The more I use something, the happier I feel. With skincare, I can't wait to get to the end. With my clothing, I can't wait to get tons and tons of wear from it because it makes me feel like it wasn't wasteful and I actually got the use and the enjoyment from it. Let me know how you feel. I want to know if it's just me or um, if you guys feel the same way. The third reason why I might open up my wardrobe and feel like I don't like anything is because I get into the habit of styling things in exactly the same way. Even if I'm using different pieces, sometimes my outfits will still look very similar because the formulas are the same and the colors might be the same. So it feels a little bit repetitive and just boring if you've been doing that for a very, very long time. There are so many possible solutions, but I think the reason why I wear certain things together is because I do like that combination. So what I wanna do is that I wanna make small tweaks that still stay within my style, but just keeps things feeling fresh. I feel like there is no better example to talk about than this skirt. I've styled this skirt probably over a hundred times on my channel, um, over, years and most outfits I wear with this today are not that exciting because I have worn it in so many combinations and oftentimes they do look very similar. I'll either do a t-shirt, a fitted knit or a cardigan and it's really repetitive. So instead of doing that today, one of the examples I wanted to pull out was a wrap top. This wrap top is a little bit different to the usual silhouettes I would wear with this skirt and I think this is quite transformative. Usually, I would feel like this top might be too voluminous because the skirt also has a little bit of a pleating and a little bit of volume, but because it also cinches really tightly at the waist, I feel like the balance is okay. 
Something else that will switch up the silhouette is this blouse. This one has these really fun kind of uh, fluted sleeves. We've got a crop shape. And because I don't have to tuck this top in, it also creates a slightly different look along the waist, but then also through the sleeves. If you don't have many silhouettes to play around with in your wardrobe, you can also try color. I always wear this black skirt with white, navy, or black. It's very repetitive. So this time around, I wanted to style it with brown. A brown t-shirt is not something I would usually wear, but it brings a beautiful warmth into this outfit. And it also makes the skirt feel like a completely new piece and very fresh in the combination. Brown has been my favorite neutral in the past year or two. And I do think that I'm gonna repeat this combination for a while instead of always wearing this skirt with navy and black. Another one of my favorite styling updates is with jewelry. Over the last six months to a year, I have really been liking red jewelry. So I have a few options I wanna show. This red necklace I'm wearing just brings a playful touch to any other look I have. I think when an outfit is too serious, when it's too done up and put together, this red beaded necklace um, just adds a playfulness to the outfit. One of my style words is playful and I love to have a piece that contrasts everything else. And this necklace is often that piece for me. This one's from Majuri. It's got some really beautiful red, white, and black colors on it, but you can also find these options pretty much anywhere. This is a bracelet I got in Bali. It was honestly $1, um, just some red beads, and you can easily recreate this as well, but it adds a nice pop of color. I bought this one from an Australian brand called Dinosaur Designs. And it's also a really great option if you like bangles, but these are some of my favorite jewelry pieces these days to mix and match in my stack and it adds color, adds playfulness, and just changes up some of the outfits I wear the most often. Those were the three main tips I wanted to talk about. And then to wrap things up, I do have like a final little tip that I want to try myself and I'm sharing with you too. I know my wardrobe and in terms of my personal style, that style and clothing is very cyclical. I can fall out of love with something um, for a year and then be absolutely in love with it again next year. So instead of decluttering things so quickly, I think what I'm going to start doing is to put things away maybe for three months, six months, and then pull it out again to confirm before I let go of something. I am honestly quite amazed at how much I love this sweater now, and it's because of lifestyle. When I moved into the city, I didn't want to be wearing these super casual outfits because I was imagining this sweater with like casual pants as well. Now that I've moved like... I wouldn't say out of the city, but like not in the middle of the city. This sweater is perfect when I think about, you know, being really cozy outside on like a colder winter day. After not styling it for a year, I'm also just so excited to play around with it. And I think that I'm gonna try and do this with my wardrobe where I tuck away sections at a time. And then when I pull it out again, hopefully it's all like really exciting and fresh again, like how I feel about this. And the same with the dresses. There was a while that I got over wearing dresses with boots and layered up but now I'm loving it once again. It's all very cyclical and I wanna embrace that a little bit more in my wardrobe. Um, instead of just letting things go and then replacing it, I guess, as quickly, I wanna give them a second chance. If you're not loving your wardrobe, if you're feeling a little uninspired um, by your pieces, I hope today's video helped you out. And even if you're not, I hope that you still got some ideas to try in your own wardrobe. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Bye.